Hello YouTube, Todd from Great Escape Farms here. I am propagating blackberries and actually I'm not really propagating them. What I'm doing is I'm transplanting blackberries that have already propagated themselves. So they are doing something called tipping or layering and what that is is where a tip touches the ground it just roots out. So if you look right here, this big stalk right here, that is the main branch. That one goes down to the ground. It is rooted. You can see it down there as a couple stalks coming out. Well, let's see, let me make sure I get the right one. So this branch right here, we will follow it on down. It grew this summer and it touched the ground over there and it touched the ground right here. And each place that it touched the ground, it rooted. So what I do to root these, and this may look a little barbaric here, but I just pull it out. Just give it a tug and look at those roots. So it will form a new plant. So what I'll do is I'll trim it off, right? I don't have my trimmers with me. So I will trim it off right here and I will do the same thing here. I can't pull that one with one hand, but so one branch that wide off or teed off here, touched the ground in two different spots and it rooted. So it's rooted in three spots. The main one back there, which I'm gonna leave, and these two. So I'm going through, I'm cutting all these out because otherwise it's connected on two ends, makes it a very, very difficult to get through and to uh, actually pick the fruit off and harvest the fruit. So over here, I've been doing this for uh, probably an hour now. I have over 50 different cuttings here, or rooted, it's not really rooted cuttings, it's uh, tips. And you can see there's a, Whole bunch of them in here what i'm going to do is i'm going to pot them up into individual pots right here i already have about 40 of them and i'm going to end up with over a hundred of these so uh that is how i go about rooting the blackberries actually i'm going to go ahead and pot one up here i'll just show you that because i do have to trim the roots a little bit so let me get the tripod going so i have both my hands here and i'll show you uh how i pot these bad boys up okay so what I do is I uh, just grab a little bit of dirt just to put on the bottom and uh, grab my plant. I thought I had two of them picked out here ready to go. Here's one right here. So this one, as you can see, it has some really decent sized roots here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover them with my hand and the, at the end here I'm just going to cut them off like that. And my cutters could go for a little sharpening here and it ends up looking like this so I'll put it in give it a little bit of a twist just so it all goes in put some soil on top pack it down just a little bit a little bit more soil here and that one will go off in water and we're in the fall so I'm not too worried about the number of leaves on there I have some actually I have one right there let me do that one next so this one really doesn't have any leaves at all and it doesn't really matter because we're going into the fall season here or we're in fall and these are deciduous so they're going to end up losing most of their leaves anyhow. So this one you see has a lot of roots on it and we are just going to do this this way. Cut it right off there. And that should be enough. I'll put it in here spin it around a little bit and the whole purpose of or the whole thought of these are I'm gonna end up selling these or taking them out to West Virginia and planting them while they're dormant so I'm not too worried about the roots being too crowded in here and I could actually leave the roots on and just fold them up without cutting them at all but in fact I might do that for the rest of them now that I think about it just uh Give them a little better chance to go and this one is ready so what i'll do now is i'll run over and i'll water them and i don't have to worry too much about watering them because again we're going into the fall season and they're going dormant anyhow and they will go ahead and build out roots a little bit more best thing to do is to plant these as soon as possible or you can do it in the spring but i'm going to plant these at least the ones that are going to my farm here in the next uh probably week or two this is right around thanksgiving week coming up so that way they will get a chance to root out and just establish a little bit better so that's it for this video thank you very much for tuning in and please consider subscribing to our youtube channel also check out greatescapefarms.com we have a blog post there we will have information on this as well as other resources out there that you can check out thank you very much and i hope you have a great day